Well, here I am, and I'm back again with another lesson for you today. We're going to have a very wonderful interview and conversation again today, and I want you, the listeners, to listen up, because it's going to be various topics, and uh, if you're going to be in your feelings, take your ass somewhere else. And uh, we're all about facts over here over feelings. At the same particular time, um, again, here's your disclaimer. We don't have any type of, uh, you could say hatred towards anybody, individual, any gender, or any specific religious group or any of that subject. What we talk about is the subjects itself. That's not talking about any specific person. And it's not to uh, cause harm or danger to anyone who is listening. So if you're in your feelings, we talk real, we talk right, and we talk raw over here. So take your panties somewhere else. If you don't like it, we are adults here in this academy of wow men. So there you have it. And once again, I have my uh, star guest today because he's a very good conversationalist and he's been learning a lot and a good asset to this podcast. And uh, go ahead and introduce yourself, Mr. Here we go. Wait a minute. I got it for you. <laughs> Mr. Brian. Yeah. The one and only. <laughs> you sure you ain't duplicated? Are you a doppelganger? No, I can't duplicate Get the you. hell out. Yes, I can. I'm one on one. I can trade you right now. All right, I'm one on one. Okay. Anyway, how you doing? One on one. Where you get the one on? Where you get the one on one from? One of one. Is that a street? That's a, that's a real deal. One He's for the streets. One of one. Okay. <laughs> we get started already. Huh? Okay. So we have various subjects, and um, I'm gonna start it off with something I found to be very. Uh, very interesting. You said something earlier before we started talking. I, I said I want to discuss it because I wanted to save it for this particular <clears throat> lesson today. And do you remember the question that you asked me about what if oh, men? Oh, yeah. And speak up so they can hear you, too. So. I was talking to Morpheus, and it, I just started thinking. The things that we do, mm -hmm. like making money. All the money we can make. And but they need to know who specifically we are talking about. We being being us, the men. Men. Okay. Yes. There you go. Um, I was thinking, you know, men these days, they work to get as much money as they can make. And they work to get the flyest car. And they work to have the best, they want the best cologne and best clothes. And something told, something made me think. Are men doing this just because of women? Think about it. You you left out something else too, which makes a lot of sense. They get their hair cut. They uh, get a fade. Some people get ball fade. Some guys get the best suits. Some guys they will uh, spend an enormous amount of money on cologne. There are some guys that get their shoe shine. There are some guys who will uh, stop at the store get a breath mint. Yeah, there are some guys who will uh, purposely wear, you could say, decent type of boxers that will be, you know, catchy to their female companions. And then some of them, there are some guys who may even go to the gym just to try to catch a woman's attention. Mm -hmm. So when you think about that, though, what before I get going to my spill of it, what is your personal thoughts on it, Brian, since you asked the question and I'm going to go in on it? Yeah, I was thinking... A lot of the stuff that we do, we do to impress women. What about yourself? I, what do you do to impress women? I mean, I'm a working man, so... So if you... If there was no chance whatsoever that you would ever get with a woman and they were not impressionable and they were irrelevant in your life, is there anything that you would change up? That's a good question. If I just couldn't track any, I mean, the women exist because if they exist, I'm good. <laughs> I'm, go, I'm gonna have. Something. If they don't exist at if all, they don't exist at all. What okay, will you good. change up? Do you, Do you think anything that you're doing is because of women? Yeah, I mean, I don't necessarily have to have, you know, like Nike and Gucci and Polo. Just as long as I got some clean on that feels good and 
you know, fits good on my body, I would think I'd be good. I How about the way that you talk when women are around versus when you're around a, a bunch of guys? You think you change your tone a little bit? Well, yeah, that's another thing. You know, people usually tiptoe around women. Conversation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's like, when you at the barbershop with, your, with, your, with the men, you know what I'm saying, y'all, we talk real. Right. You know, we don't sports, hold things back. Sports, uh, segs, and other type of subjects. You know, what's going on in the world and politics. Yeah, it's just that it seems like we're, without women, if if it wasn't about women, men wouldn't be so gung-ho to wear the most expensive stuff. Money wouldn't even be. Well, it's, a, it's an industry, and I like that you asked that question, because now I'm going to. I'm going to go ahead and go into it. So it's a, it's a good question, but now the professor is going to have to put the knowledge on the table here. So listen up, ladies and gentlemen. So a large majority of what men do is for women. I can imagine there are millions of dollars that are poured into image alone, poured into cars poured into the way that they carry themselves even on television there's guys who are you know basketball players or other type of sports ball players or anything like that who they know they're females in the crowd you know he had they have female fans and things like that they wouldn't say half the things that they say they wouldn't drive half the things that they drive because it wouldn't matter there's nobody to impress you know unless they're going the opposite direction you know same sex sort of thing but even then there's not a lot of impression i think i don't know because i don't flow that way that a man trying to pressure other man would be as expensive. I think it might be a little bit more simple if you re- if you really want my opinion on that one. Besides them trying to groom themselves and keep their body in order, you know, and safe for their partner. But other than that, half the time, men, yes, they do a lot of things for the impression of women. And it's kind of funny that you ask that. I don't like to put myself in the uh, in the bracket, but what attract again? What attracted my three companions, my girls? What's the fact that I didn't give a damn? That's what attracted them. And I've, I've spoken about this before, where a lot of people think it's all about money. It's all about, you know, where you live and, and it's how much clout you got. If you're the Drakes of the world and driving a Lamborghini or Ferrari. No, the girls and I've had a conversation with them and I've, I've spoken about this before on audio. They and they were recently in a. <laughs> I ain't gonna go there. Anyhow. During a the conversation, they were asked, what attracts you the most about this guy? What was it that that did this right here in their mind? <laughs> and, and what they said was the fact that I didn't give a damn. The fact that I didn't care to either get them or lose them. I didn't care how they thought about me. And when I spoke to them, it was either they do it or get the hell out. And it impressed them because most men, especially American men, because they're not from here. They're always practically the word is thirsty. They're always chasing. They always think they got to do the impression. They are always talking about their money. They always think that they got to be on one knee and, and, and uh, uh, chase this girl and don't expect for her to do anything in return. But when I was speaking to them, or specifically, as they put it in their words, as we were conversating, I expected them to do something. I expected them to show their initiative that they were interested in a relationship. But as a man, I created the track, meaning I said, this is going to be this. I'm going to have uh, uh, three companions. There's an extra seat for somebody else who's going to be here eventually. Uh, either you deal with it or hey. I'll find somebody else. I didn't sit there and pander to them. I didn't make a a, a deal. I didn't say I was going to pay their bills. I, I'm a, I wasn't a sugar daddy. Okay. I didn't say, I said, listen, it's this, this is that. If I go to the mall, you can tag along with me. I'm not going to the mall for you. I'm going to go, I'm going to go shopping for some shoes. I'm not going shopping for some shoes for you. God damn it. You understand? I'm going to get shoes for myself. You can tag along. And while you tagging along, you may get something, but I'm not doing it for you. So that right there, 
made them respect me a whole lot more. At the same time, I didn't walk up to him with a Gucci suit on. Um, I do wear a fair amount of cologne, but it wasn't uh, an expensive bottle of cologne, like some ungodly 150 bucks or more than that. Something very simple. I don't think it was even something as Axe or something like that. Or what's, what's the other stuff that they got? The most cheapest, you know, cologne that you can imagine? Uh, man, what was it called? <laughs> you, man, sir. You should know because you got some on right now. Uh, <laughs> no, but no, be, to, I didn't. I didn't get anything expensive. It was just, hey, wash up, go to the bathroom, right? You know, regular soap and water. Put some Listerine in my mouth, you know, uh, what do you call that? Just dash on a little bit of cologne and I'm out. It wasn't trying to do anything that's going to catch a, a, a woman that's going to be like, oh, he smells so good. You look so good. No, because this is what I do every day with or without her, meaning I got to wash my ass anyway. I want to smell good anyway. And I might uh, profuse a little bit where um my my hormones or whatnot it's gonna you know it's not gonna be so it's gonna be a little offensive so you gotta have a you know a little balance there especially for your ph and cologne and, and etc so i'm going to do that anyway whether she is around or not so the point in the matter going back to what you asked it's, it's wonderful that you asked that question half the things that men do is for women men need to understand that they will save a whole lot of money a whole lot of time if they're just themselves, at the same time, it should be a take it or leave it sort of ordeal where I can guarantee there will be more respect for him as a man if he's real versus this guy who's fake and talking about, yeah, baby, I got this mansion over here and I could take you. Right. Yeah, man, you know what type of guy I am? I'm a blue chip dude. You know, all this type of BS blue chip. because what's happening is these women can realize a fake from a mile away. Mm -hmm. But when you real, guess what? This is what they got to deal with every day anyway. You can only put that facade on for so long. But, and again, I think it's very, very awesome that you asked that question because a lot of men don't think about that. They don't think about, hey, am I doing this for the woman? Just like the time that they spend every day. Most times men just want to hit the poom poom and that's it. Mm -hmm. But they get with a girl who will say, hey, let's go watch Netflix and chill. Now, let's go hang out for a little while. Can you go take me to the store? And can we go here and there? And, uh, 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 you know, can you can you show me how to get this done on the computer? And he will spend his God given time an entire day doing that. But all he really wants is just to hit the skins and go home. Mm -hmm. So he will spend six or seven hours just to impress her, just to get on her good side, just to break the rock or what some dumb idiot said years ago. You got to approach her like she's a lioness because if you don't approach her with slow, she's going to bite your head off. That's for those weak guys. You know, right. the pathetic POA. I never heard that, but it's, it's yeah, so pathetic. I mean, she's going to bite your head off. You got to pat her real nicely. Got to talk to her real good because you have to soften her up and break the ice. Listen, that's not manly. They have nothing to do with masking. That's that's a. I'm trying to be nice here. That's a simp, redundant, beta ass move. When you got to be the type of guys, I don't listen. I don't break the ice with trying to blow it with my warm breath and put like a little warmer next to it. Now I'm gonna take an axe, our pickaxe. I'm gonna smash the goddamn ice, whether she like it or not. Deal with it. Or I'm I'm the hell out of here. Cause I'm on to the next thing anyway. All the options that I got, I ain't got time to be sitting there talking about. Well, you know. I don't know if she likes me and she don't like me. I got to warm up to her. I got to, you know, I got to talk good to her so she know I'm a good and safe guy. You got to court her. <laughs> got to, hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. I'm rude with it too. I'm, I'm so, this is how rude I am, Brian. I, I don't want to talk about me, but I'm, I'm on this rant here and I got to get back to you because it's not about me. You're the guest here. I'm a type of guy where I have options where Immediately, as soon as I break the ice and she still want to give me the cold shoulder, and, oh, I don't know about him. I'm not so sure. You know what? I'm going to pick up the phone. Hey, uh, uh, Sarah. Yeah, where you at? Where you at, baby? Yeah, I'm getting ready to head down here to Miami for, yeah, uh-huh. I need you to meet, yeah, all right, all right, boo. And then while I'm talking to her, 
companion number two, three and our four is going to pull up right next to me by my side. Why that girl just got through denying me. So she's going to be like, damn, what the hell just happened? And then all of a sudden she's like, he got all these women around. What, what, what did I miss out on? No, because you thought I was going to be one of these dumb American jokers and play on your play field. It either is or isn't. And a lot of times too, Brian, and this ain't misogamy, this is facts. A lot of times women want to hold back the poom poom because mm-hmm. they want the highest value out of it. So they don't want to seem like a, uh, you know, the, uh, what's the word? The uh, S up. So you don't want to feel like, seem like a S up girl. S up. A, 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 a slaughter, you know, slurber. Yeah. She don't want to seem like that. So she tried to play the game and say, well, you know what? Maybe if he's approached harder, if he if he tries harder, if he chases after me more, if he buys more flowers, if he spend more money, if he take me to Salt Bay, I just might give him a chance. Oh, hell no. No, no, man. No, no. I got the upper hand. Either you do it or you don't. I got options. I ain't worried about it. I'm out. That's thousands of dollars, boy. I heard they pay people pay like five, six thousand. Yeah, but you know what, girls? But they, but the thing is, is (laughs) (laughs) really, you gotta speak up so they can hear you. And at at the same time, she ain't no virgin. So what's she holding out for? What's she talking about? (laughs) We're we're two grown adults. It was crazy. She gave this dude the poo poo for the forty hours. For forty, and, and, and this, a dime, a dime set. Yeah, and this dude spit out the Gucci store for. Her to oh, get it. oh man! You know what I mean? Like a, 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 <laughs> a band on a gift card just for some poom poom. The hell out of here! One dude got it for a pack of Virginia Slims. One man got it because he was six foot tall. <laughs> Another man got it because he was a basketball player and he was popular, but he didn't have to pay anything for it. Just fly her out. Well, yeah. that's the payment right there, but. He still got it, right? Yeah. Wow. And the other guy, he he got it just because he was a friend of the family. The other <laughs> Another guy got, guy got, got it because third date. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Another guy got it just because he was a friend of her girlfriend and she approved yeah. of him. Hey, what guy got it because he paid his phone bill? Oh man! He paid the rent. Another guy got it because he actually paid for her for some food for a week. Man. Her a oh man another guy got it because he waited long enough in the friend zone and listened to her bark and complain to him for so long at the fifth year she finally gave it to him well, I'll tell you, man. And the, pro- the problem with that like I said there's a sale price for those who carry themselves like a baby there's a sale price and you know what I get a lot because you know I'm a different type of guy. Uh, you know what type of guy I am. What I get a lot is that there's two things that happen, and it's true. I heard a lot of people say this on the internet and online before knowing what type of guy I am. They'll say that there's this type of guy where it's it's called <laughs> I can't say it here. It's called Alpha F's Beta Bucks. Mm-hmm. You know that you see the alpha, uh, yeah. alpha get it, but the betas pay for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's some things I do have to pay for, like my time, or you know, if I want to take her somewhere, or she's in the pageant suit or something like that, for sure. But I don't pay like the betas pay. They're the ones talking about, oh baby, let me take you out to eat for a restaurant. And she's like, well, maybe next week. Um, are you gonna be free next week? I'm the type of guy where I'm like. I'm only here in town for this weekend, which is today. Tomorrow, I'm flying back out to Florida. And if you ain't doing it tonight, your ass is grass. I don't have time for it. And oh, are we gonna go and eat afterwards? But like, what are you talking about? I'm the buffet. <laughs> what are you talking about eating? <laughs> Just gonna try to play that dumb game because a lot of times they they, they want to fleece you. They get all they can out of you. Guess what happened if you take her out to eat? You ain't getting nothing afterwards. Nope. And you lost respect. Yeah, I mean, because you... They don't respect people who pay. Because you're the nice guy. (laughs) You know, I'm glad you mentioned that, Morpheus, because that reminded me of this video I saw with this dude. Old school guy. uh, 38 years old. 
And he 30, was talking 38 about... 38 is old school? Well, old school in mindset. Yeah, that means you really old then, yeah. bro. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> you you out of it. I mean, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, old school, like the mindset. The mindset, how... Just, it's wise, right? Yeah. Wise. Okay. But anyway, so this guy was talking about how his uncle, back in the day, um, he was helping this woman out by buying her furniture. But let me finish. Uh, he helped her buy furniture because this woman... let you finish? Yeah, this woman. I just, I just want to make sure I make it clear. I'm listening. This woman was helping him with, um, we're going to say, some some alternative activities. Okay. And basically yielding this man $100,000 a month with uh, these alternative activities. She was actually benefiting him. And that's the reason why he helped her out with that. So that's where he was at with it. Because these days, these guys are paying for these women, and they're not even getting the poom poom. Like we talked about, like we were just talking about. You got some dudes that are literally paying a woman just for her time. Like not to even hit, just, just for her time. I, I don't know what part of and he was like, I don't know what part of the game is that. And this, that's the truth. I tell, you, I tell you what it dudes. is. I tell you what it is. Let's stop. I tell you what it is. Let's, uh, I'm, I tell you what it is, and and I understand this as hard as I am on men. Okay, let's let's understand it. Let's let's look. Let's go back and reverse a little bit here. Men versus women, when it comes to emotions and love, are different. Men invest, and they look at future terms of things. Now, that doesn't mean a woman has to put out on the first night, like I told you about. It's not always about that. I just don't want her to play games. Mm -hmm. And I know when she's trying to go down that path and I want her to understand that cut the chase, tell me what it is. And I'm not going to sit here and wait for you because I got options. Okay. But it's not about getting the poom poom and donkey donkey. That's not what it's about. Men are always, the word is, I don't use the word. It's hope, but the word is expecting that there might be a relationship out of it. Because a lot of men are still thinking that women are nice and everything spicy and sugary and all that and nice. And so he's putting money in her because remember, he's programmed as a child to think that's what he's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And he's believing, which is the word, but the actual word is she, he's expecting or he's trusting that she's investing in him as well, where that she's going to wait on him and he's the number one guy that is going to be in her world eventually. So a lot of times the talking and spending time with or hanging out with this girl in his mind, he's going to get something in the long run, like maybe a wife material. Maybe she's talking good. Can they remember <clears throat> not all of them, but the majority of women like to manipulate. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you that they don't, but when they get with this guy, they'll tell him something totally different than what they are telling you. They string him along. And tell him, well, you know, you're so nice and maybe possibly next week and oh, your cologne smells so good. And oh, you're better than all the other guys. And, you know, I can't wait to give it to you because you're just so nice. I'm just holding back tonight because it's just my time in the month right now. So she will continue to string him along while she's extracting resources from him. But on his end, he think he actually has something. So a lot of guys try to do it. You could say the, uh, mm, I won't say the moral way. He tried to sacrifice his carnal need to donkey dunk with her for the fact of just being able to have her as a expectation that might occur in the future. <laughs> so it seems stupid. We've been there before. I've been there before where I've spent time with the girl thinking that it was going to be a relationship, but I didn't know that she was just fleecing me. When I should have just cut the chase and say, hey, what type of day it is? What are you talking about? And what are we doing? A lot of men still don't know how to do that. So even if they're beta and they're weak, a lot of times they just don't have the knowledge that they're being finessed. <laughs> what you think? I mean, I don't see how someone would not have the knowledge that they're being finessed. Look at your bank account and look at what you've done. Look at all the time. OK, things. OK. You want to go there? Why are men still getting married today? <laughs> Think about it. Men are still getting married. 
I saw uh yeah, Bozo just the other day. Bozo. Freshly just got married just the other day. Looking like a monkey, all happy, cheesing from cheek to cheek. In America, not understanding that marriage does nothing for a man. It will hurt him in the long run and limit him. And it's diabolical. But he don't understand this. So it's the same thing. He don't understand that he's investing all his time, life, and possibility for her to say, I'm not happy and divorce him for any damn reason. It's the same as men investing in these women and expecting something that they may not ever get because they simply don't know. It's the same thing. You can ask the same question. Why are men still getting married then? You say, how come they don't know? They just don't know. And they're not really thinking as they should because remember the basis of a lot of American tradition is based on an insidious cooperative programming to keep you stupid, dumb, and unlearned. Mm -hmm. And the basis of women are better than you, you are a man, and you are just here to serve and suffer while you're doing it. And don't worry about it, your labor is not going to mean anything but a dollar bill at the end of the day. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? That's something we think about, though. I never thought about that. It's programming. That's all it is. Those are guys who are coming out of there. They're still in the programming. And they need a red pill to get out of the programming. <laughs> Sounds about right, huh? Hmm. So we're going to switch over to the next subject here. <laughs> it's starting to get good now. It's going to get good. I was in the gym the other day, Ryan. And, um,. I uh, stopped to, I don't need to take a breather most times, but I just stopped to go to a different machine because I stretch my muscles in between sometimes because it, it helps out and keep my momentum going. And I looked at everyone that was in front of me, like doing the dumbbells and the free weights and, and other uh, machines. And I looked to my right on the uh, treadmill mm -hmm. and also on the bike. And I noticed something. I'm going to ask you, what do you think I noticed? What do you think I noticed? You look to the right and you notice. What? I'm, wow. Um, what do you think I noticed? Come on, man. Where's your jeans scene? I'm about to say, um. Wait, there was a woman? I mean, I know you mentioned something about uh, black women in the gym. Now, there, was a, there was a few women there, but it's, it's not, it wasn't about them this time. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you got to accept the reality that, um, yeah, we discussed that before. You got to accept the reality that that's just the way it's going to be. And then after you accept it, then you move on to the next um, problem. So the next problem was something else. Hmm. Well, I noticed that every person was on their cell phone. There was a guy on the bench playing with his cell phone. Guy on the treadmill was just sitting there looking at his phone. Other guy wasn't even doing his, his dumbbells. He was just standing there playing with his phone. Every last person for that moment, it was a freak out moment that... You got to be outside of the matrix to see. You have to be aware of your surroundings to see. And I stopped. I'm just looking at it. I was like, wait a minute. What the hell is going on? Everybody was in their cell phone. In the gym where there's free weights. <laughs> this is why when, when guests like yourself come onto the podcast and other people uh, that you know of, that I know of, that comes around me i tell them that their cell phone is not allowed their cell phone has to be off or they have to keep it in their car because it is diabolical and it is a problem for the society it's good but it's negative at the same time because everybody's doing it because we can't break away from the cell phone for any reason whatsoever we always got to make an excuse to look at our facebook instagram trying to check who text message who gave us a text message all that can wait for the priority of doing what you're doing in that moment. 
So everybody's addicted to, even when they drive in traffic, the same thing. It's just a guarantee. You drive next to somebody. They can't wait to get to their destination to get into their cell phone. They got to wait to check their phone at every stoplight. Hmm. So what you're saying is the phone has been occupying people's lives. Computers and technology is occupying people's lives. The cell phone is just a conduit. It makes it easier to connect to the the internet and the absent-minded behavior. Because why would it have to be everybody at that particular time in the gym? Why wouldn't it be half and half where other people are actually doing the dumbbells and you can hear the clinking and clanking of machines and just a few people are not doing it? No, the majority of them was doing that. The only ones that wasn't was the ones I wasn't painted to was probably back there in the back behind me somewhere, probably two or three different people. But for the for the most part, the guys, they weren't sweating like they usually do. There was no grunt. There was no trying to push the bench and, oh, man, one more push, man. Yeah, man, push this. Oh, yeah, you can do it, man. It was nothing like that. You didn't see the woman sitting there, hey, get on treadmill. One more, one more lap. True, true, true. Come on, one more lap. No, no, no. No, just lax of days ago, lazy ass, weak poison minded connect to the internet i don't care about myself type of people and you don't think that's a problem you know I, I, I don't see like, i'm trying to do something and then i'll look at my phone and yes see you no know, yes time passes because you only get 24 hours in a day yep and people burn half of it on their phone that's right that, that and you notice true. yourself doing that too that is the truth. Uh, you know, and it's I, a I, habit, and I it's not healthy, and it's not natural. Times too, like I try to turn it off, and that seems to help, but it's not like I keep it off twenty four seven. It so, should be. It should be to the point where, if you put your cell phone down somewhere in your house or whatever you're doing, and you got to find it, you don't know where it's at. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. You're actually on the right track. <laughs> you're actually on the right track. But if you if you no, you would accept it to the rule. I don't hear that. No, don't come here with that BS. No, you're not. Because I see you all the time. I told you to locked it in the locker before you came in here, so I don't hear it. Every five seconds you want to have your phone. You just as bad as the rest of them. That's why I don't take your ass to the gym. But, but you just you just no, I don't want to hear it. No, you you you're trying to use an excuse. That's because you're absent minded. I don't want to hear what you gotta say. All right, you, you know, nope. I'm about to get back at you, man. You, been, you can get back. Pop shots you can get ma- you can get back all you want to, th- because yeah. you're trying to you're trying to tell me something that's completely irrelevant because it have nothing to do with you looking at your phone every five to six seconds, yeah. and me need to tell you to turn that crap off. At least ten. No, at least ten. Nah, see, nah. <laughs> no, no. There is some conditions to it as well. Yeah, the only. See, the people who forget their phone and don't know where it is, but yet they're connected to those phones, I call those people unorganized and unorthodox. That means your life in together, if that's the case. So I'm not talking about because you forget about it because you're absent-minded. No, I'm talking about you forget about it, you don't know where it is because you're not always on your phone nor fully active with it. Does that make it clear? I know it do. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. <laughs> Anyhow, anything you want to add to that? It it kind of hits home though, doesn't it? You know what? Yeah, I You may, and the fact that you're man enough to admit that that first of all, I honor that because a lot of people don't admit their flaws. A lot of people are always in denial. They be like, "Oh, man, that's not me." Nah, man. Nah, I'm cool, man. It's not my problem, but the fact that you said I do it too and it's an issue a therapist would tell you this once you realize your problem you're beginning and you're on the path to healing because you recognize it you see exactly what the problem is so therefore there's no excuse for you not to be able to pinpoint it thereafter it's just a lack of accountability and probably laziness so that's awesome well I mean it's just the way I was raised you know and be real with yourself you know, ain't no point in lying to yourself. Be real with yourself. I mean, you can lie to yourself all you want, but in the end, it's not gonna fit. It's not gonna change nothing. You're gonna still be in the same place you were, and you're not gonna progress because you're lying to yourself. Tell the truth. 
So that's just the way I see it. Now you said you had two subjects to share with us, and there was a um, a Facebook post or something like that that was uh, disturbing. Tell us about it and explain it where we can um, where we can understand. Oh yeah, man, going back to scandal. That's the na- that's the word for the day. Scandal. Scandal. I'm over here looking Scandalous. at Scandalous. Uh, don't, don't, don't ever see that again. That, that, was, that was off. That's just off. <laughs> that, 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 that was just off. That was off. Well, scandalous is your hairline. Well, he's all the way back. That's scandalous. If you had a hairline, <laughs> it wouldn't be scandalous. What are you talking about? You know, you know. You need a hairline. You a few. Why does everybody want to attack a hairline for? Like it's supposed to mean you, you don't even see my hairline. What the hell are you talking about? A few inches away from me, Morpheus. Nah, a well, few inches. That, I, <laughs> <laughs> How about a few decades? <laughs> I got ways to go to get up on your line. What are you talking yeah, about? Nah, nah. Decades is how much forehead yeah, you got. Yeah. How far mm. Hold on. Let's, let's move forward. Well, how about it's a forehead that my women can kiss on? At least they have somewhere to kiss. Your hands don't kiss. <laughs> yeah, okay. Your hands don't kiss. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. My hands. Uh, nice. I don't know. What are you talking about? Look, let, you see how big my hands are? That would take days. <laughs> look, look. <laughs> my po- the point is, let, let's get back to what we're talking about. So I'm over here. So you know with, something about the hands. You want to go there, huh? <laughs> yeah, so no, where, where's your companions at? Maybe. Where'd she be? <laughs> yeah, they, yo, mama t- no, no, stop. <laughs> your mother just called me a few minutes ago. I just yeah. didn't want to tell you. Yeah, That's no, why I got my cell phone on mute. No, no play. And I try to hide it because you don't want to see that uh, display on there. Yeah, don't play with it. She be sending those pictures too. Uh, no, okay. I think she had it like that. I tried to see if she was related to you. Like, did you adopt yeah. them or something? You fried. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You are fried. But no, anyway, so like I said, I saw this video yeah, on slight Facebook. comebacks. It ain't working. Yeah, so I saw oh, this video on Facebook. Tumbo looking ass. Come on. With <laughs> Tumbo. Goofy clown. Let's go. Uh, okay. Master, Get on to the story. That's why I call you Master. Molasses, master Splinter. Molasses in your ass. Get going. <laughs> Look here. All right. So anyway, like I said, so I saw this video. And this chick was on the You sure you didn't see it or you just heard it? I saw, I watched it. You did. I watched it on Facebook. Yeah, on your on your cell phone, right? <laughs> yeah. On yeah. My cell huh, phone. There you go. <laughs> on my cell phone. Get me started. Whatever. Your facing look, cell phone every did, five seconds. Whatever. But look, look. But Just tell them the story and shut up, damn it. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you. The okay. Talk, talk. So anyway, I'm looking at this video, and this chick was on the news, and this she was talking about her quote unquote fiance or soon to be fiance. That was killed in a hit and run accident, right? And she's over here saying this is on the news. You know, news being you know national TV. That's Let's. Why don't we do something? Why don't we fair use, fair use, and let them hear for themselves, and we break it down. You know what? That might be. The so, ladies and gentlemen, let's we. I do it live, baby. So we're gonna do it live. We're gonna go ahead and set this up for you. Okay. And let you hear exactly what he's talking about. And we're going to break it down. So give me a moment. We're going to break it here and uh, I'm going to let him set it up and we'll get it started. Yep. So fair use phrase. We'll go ahead and play it. We found it. There's uh, maybe a couple of curse words in it, but I'll try to uh, block it out. But <clears throat> you hear the story and we're going to break it down for you. Go ahead and uh, play, Brian. Bring it down here so they can play it. So go ahead. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Fair use, fair use. Come on, man. We didn't even get to get married. Listen. I didn't get to get added to his will. My son is his brother's son. So, we done had so many conversations and not one time. He ain't never said he was going to die today. That's some selfish shit. Me and him, if I would have known he was going to die today, I would have got told him I'd get married to him. I would have got engaged with him. We didn't even get to get married. I didn't get to get added to his will. Fair use, fair use. Fair My use. Son, it's his brother's son. So, we got had so many comments. Now, and that's what we got going on today. So, if y'all heard what she said, you men don't understand that. That's why they want to get married to you to begin with. It's not because, oh, you're such a great guy. You've been working hard your whole life and you just deserve a good woman. <laughs> 
You're such a good man. No, it's because they're looking for a retirement plan and they're looking to fleece you. And again, and, and, and am I right, Brian, that this guy passed away because it was an accident, a head on collision? A hit and run, in fact. So let me ask you this question, uh, uh, world. Let me ask you this question, listeners. You in the classroom of the Academy of Wowman. How is it selfish for a man to accidentally pass away by an accident that he had no power over, meaning a head on collision from a vehicular accident? And she's going to call this guy selfish. The problem is, is the fact that she didn't stay with him long enough to fleece him long enough. That's why she was talking about his retirement. That's why she was talking about his will. That's why she was talking about everything that he probably could have given her because that's why women choose these men and are high value men and are date up because they're not looking to date up on your personality. They're looking to date up on your finances. It, it disgusted me. Like she said that this dude had a conversation with her, and he didn't tell her that he was gonna die. Like first of all, how Pass is a away. person gonna know? How is a person going to know when they when they're when they're gonna die? Like what? Where did that come the word, from? The words "pass away." Or, yeah, pa pass away. Uh -huh. But still, like seriously though, like she said, it was selfish of him to pass away. You got this is well, you got to remember um, uh, the average American woman, not all, but most. They're entitled no matter what the, the entitlement and the delusion is off the charts. So it's never about you and your mental struggles It's about what you can do for them. So remember, whatever you do as a man is still going to be considered wrong. And you're going to be accountable for whatever that you do. Whether it's by accident, whether it's somebody else, dude, they're always going to blame you regardless. Mm -hmm. As if you're the god of the planet. So in this type of situation, the reason why girls like this can continue to talk and act accountable and, and blame you for everything is because there are other men on the other side of the river that pumps them up to do so. There are other betas, other guys, sugar daddies. You know, older men, you know, around the age 50 when she was like the age 20, something like that, mm -hmm. that were willing to buy her everything, take her places. Remember, a lot of these girls, they start off early at the age of 18, 19, 20, where they being flown out to Miami. They being flown out to California, Orange County. They're able to uh, go places, meet famous people, you know, be up underneath uh, basketball players and, and singers and rappers. OK, so they automatically are going to think and are feel entitled no matter what. And what happens to the majority of men, they're always going to be looked at as a pocket wallet. And a lot of times it's not just the money that she's trying to marry into. She's trying to marry into this man's lifestyle. So she's not looking about the man as an individual human being. She's looking at the man as a walking ATM. Mm -hmm. And it's obvious that she has no respect for this guy. Do any? Do the majority of women have respect for men? Um, it depends on what type of man you are, I guess. We're not a... Do the majority of women have respect for the common man? Oh, common man, no. no. So why would it be different for her? You have to do your research and your statistics and look around the world around you. Respect is something that's earned. It's not given, of course. But... A lot of times they initially start off without any respect because a lot of them come from broken families and mothers that are telling them that men are no good. Get your own back. Don't trust them. They're all about the poom poom. So automatically the respect is gone because remember, half American people are coming from broken families and broken homes. A lot of them are raised by single moms. So how can you respect the man that you never grew up, grown up with or you never known to be your father? So you're going to have a father at home or a man who's an authority figure. How does woman have the practice of understanding how she needs to respect a man or respect the opposite gender if she has no practice with it? Man. It, that is the truth. Glad the father at home, of course. She don't know. So how, how does she know how to respect them? 
The only time she can respect a man or understand how to respect the man is if she has a father at home and having that father, that father ensues and creates a, a form of uh, a protection and leadership and guidance in the home where naturally he's going to uh, uh, produce his masculinity and his his force of authority, of course, gently in the right way, where she has no choice but to respect him because that's her father. So if he's not there, then how else is she going to respect any type of man if daddy was never at home? So she's one out of a million. So the majority of women, and you look at the percentages, don't really respect the man anyway. So why wouldn't she think to be entitled? That's a, but that's, uh, uh, come on, come back at me. Come on, bring it. That goes beyond the title. Like that, uh, Insidious, insane, diabolical. What? But that's the world that we live in. That's somewhere that we just have to accept it. This is the way it is. You know, we made our bed. We got to lay in it. All right. On to the fourth and last. Now, I heard you do uh, uh, you do driving on the side, right? Actually, yeah, I do. Okay. Okay. Well, kind of piggyback off that. Uh... So tell me, tell me about what. Oh, this is going to be good. Now. Go ahead and take the floor and explain to them because, you know, you're part of my eyes and ears like a whole lot of other people are. So explain to them the experience that you had when you heard because everybody's anonymous. There's no name, so it don't matter. But it's just a subject that we're talking about. Explain to them what you've heard yeah. while you were driving a couple and allow them to learn from your experience, Mr. Brian. Yeah, it was just... It was another thing that just kind of backed up that video. You know, I'm over here doing my Uber, and I pick up a customer, this female, and she over here laughing and giggling and getting to the car. She gets on the phone with her friend, talking about, well, at least that's what she said was her friend, and talking about how she told this dude that she was about to go out with her friend just to get out the house. But here's the here's the thing. This female made it clear how she feels about this guy that's giving her $500 just to spend time with her. Like mm -hmm. the girl made it clear he's not even having, he's, we're not having, we're not having donkey dunk relations or she said she was just over there looking at her TikTok while he was packing his stuff. I guess he plans on moving or something. And she's talking about how this dude gives her five hundred dollars, and she said it's supposed to be two thousand. That's what she said. It's supposed to be two thousand, but this dude gives her like five hundred dollars just to spend time with her. She said you got. She told. She said to a friend while I was on the phone talking about yeah you got to pay me for my time. Mm -mm, I made sure I don't play with him at all because you ain't gonna play me. That's what she said. Is that the whole story? That, that's the basis of it, yeah. That's it. Like, basically how she's using this dude. Just backing up that video, the self-entitlement, the fact that, you know, these men are actually got these women gassed up to the point that they feel that, that they're entitled yeah, to that. Yeah, their name. time needs to be paid for. And, and it's amazing how... Well, well, I'm going to tell you this. How about this? We're going to make it very simple. We're going to make it very simple, Brian. Let's, let's look at it like this. That's just the new world that we have to deal with today. That's just a, we're dealing with the consequences of what we have created as a whole. You can say man and woman with the dating dynamics and the struggles that we are dealing with. Because I know you heard that expression that um, about the rotted apples, you know, one rotted apples rotting the whole barrel and et cetera, something like that. It's the same scenario. You have a few rotten people or a rotten port part of society or of men who make it bad for the whole. This is why you got the separation. This is this is why it's important to understand uh, alpha, beta, simps, high value men. And you got to have a distinct uh, identity with each 
man because it will identify for one their potential what they do on the often and what type of uh, understanding that they have of the woman dynamic in which they are potentially affecting for the world and are for other men men need to learn how to take accountability for their actions and for themselves and understand the type of swamp that they're swimming in or the swamp that they are creating as well but unfortunately as a whole same as there are women or good women themselves who have to suffer or be um you could say deal with the dynamic of destruction that other bad low life or low profile uh women have created for them it's the same as men themselves but just like on both ends, not to be the equalizer, even though I usually am on the often, we have to be responsible to clear up our gap, our garbage and clean our bedroom before trying to create a better society or dating circle. But that's not going to happen no time soon, Brian. That's just what we're going to have to deal with. And uh, well, you, it's just like shifting wheat. You got good wheat. You got bad wheat. You know, you got the good vegetables that just need to be thrown out. You got those that you can keep and use. But um, the separation, segregation and the understanding just have to begin. And uh, good men just need to understand their quality and disconnect themselves from uh, women who've been, uh, you could say, imprinted, marked up and um, manipulated by other men, which is not hard to figure out. Anyhow, we're going to end this audio because we have other things to do. And Brian, thanks for uh, visiting us today. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen.